Hey everybody, this is SirDapDap, and I just wanted to give a quick little warning. Uh, things do get a little emotionally heavy in this game. Um, it, it might not be the best game to watch if you're kind of in a down mood and want something uplifting, but uh, I really would recommend this game. I'm obviously recording this after the game. I didn't quite expect it to be so as emotionally heavy. Uh, I do get into some very real things, as in um, stories about real life that are pretty emotional and... Um, it, I think it's a great game that can bring that sort of stuff up, but I totally respect that it might not you might not want to watch that at any given time or you know whatever. So just be aware of that. For the first time, recreated in Unreal Engine 4. Actually, <clears throat> this is just Mary's room. It's made in in Unreal Engine 4, but it's better than everything else. It's better than all other games because it's made in Unreal Engine 4. So that's that's the only aspect of quality. Anyway, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I'm really glad to be back to doing these, you know, experimental, a little unusual, short experience kind of things. We got some ultra, we got ultra quality, so obviously it's gonna be quality, it's gonna be ultra. So this is like a recollection sort of game, and we'll, we'll just check it out. I'll read you a little bit from the description if it doesn't I make itself clear. I didn't want to come back. We got voice acting, Why guys. would I? After all that's happened, even in here. So, where is the journal? Give me the journal. We got here. Whoa! You got one of those smart frame picture things that, like, animates. Huh. Well. I don't want to go back down. Oh. But I do. Let me, let me do, whoa. That's a, that's a bonk hazard if I've ever seen one. I kind of like when you go into like an attic and stuff and it's like the shape of the house happens. That's uh, it, it's a nice fancy kind of thing. Oh, those windows, wait, is that, is that one? That's, oh, that's messing with my head. They're like paintings, but window, the window paintings. They're alive, the hills are alive. What is this? I can cr I love the idea of like going into somebody's house and like being able to jump and like crouch and stuff. Like when was the last time you went into somebody's house and were just like, you know, crouch? A local wine guide, hell yeah. Well, give me that. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Whoa. Science Fair, 2008, second place. Move. We never had prizes for our science fair. I hate the science fair. I love science, but science fair is like, what do you do? Like, you're eight years old. You can't do, like, real science. Real science has fire and explosions, and you're not you're not allowed to do any of that. Like, what are you, what are you gonna do? You can't run a double-blind study. You're, you're freaking eight. I, I think I grew some, like, crystals in a pan from, like, a crystal, growing crystals in a pan set. I, I don't, I, I honestly don't remember what I did. It was... I remember planning to do that. I think I did something else. I don't know. There's a lot of batteries. No entry unless you're tourist from the future. Do kids? Did kids have these? I see these in like TV and stuff. Like the edgy go away mom tv. Like, do people have these? Which door do I want to go? What? Why? I guess it's a smart home. What more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Yikes, where are we? Orange Grove? I guess we're in California, because Cal local wine guide. Does it get that hot? I... It's almost over a hundred here this week. It's not even summer. It's ridiculous. No, that's her parents' room. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to go to Bab, the tiny Bab room? Hello, humans. How do you do fellow humans? I'm Ted Cruz for human president. Oh, it's one of these things. What are these? Oh, I guess it's like a <coughs> rack thing, coat rack. Look at the space chair. These chairs are from space. What is that? Wait, is this what Europeans? Oh wait, no, that's supposed to be a US outlet. Why is it two? Why is it two separate things? I've never seen one like that. non intra oh wait. Wait, what? Picture, that's not a picture, honey. What do you mean, pi oh, I'm interacting with the picture through the wall. Wait, 
No, I'm not. What, what am I interacting with? Hold on. Picture. 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 Is that me? Oh my god. The hair. What was I thinking? Oh, it's this. That's, I guess I'm the one with the red hair then? Are we girlfriends? Are we... I don't know what we are. We got some tissues, we got some sun. Some real human sun. Oh, this reminds me a lot of, um... What was that game? Fragments of him. They had a bed like this. You just got a carpet on the wall. I don't think that's where that goes, honey. Bumblebee! I never made, like, cat trees with, like, names for my cat. My mind, like, sees these, like, arrow sort of things. I'm, like, trying to solve a puzzle. This isn't Uncharted. You don't have to solve puzzles, tap tap. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. <gasps> I know you've been reading my journal. She knows. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Wait, remember we're sisters. Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. Oh, I see. You are my friend. And I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... What happened? I don't know. Oh. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. <sighs> I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Where do you get that sick-ass tape, though? I want that, like, orange tape. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. That's ominous. A friend of ours, uh, when I was growing up, they, they had one air conditioner in their kitchen, of all places. And nothing else in the whole house. It was a big two-story house. It was just hot as heck, and they would have, like, you know, they had fans, but, like, ugh. So the, the, the kids would uh, come over just because it was cooler at our place. Because so we have, you know, an air conditioner per floor. We had an older house too, so I mean... Oh, hey! Some science. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Think like a proton, stay positive. Oh my god. No. Please, please don't. Anti-matter... Oh, I like this kid. I read a big ol' um... Oh crap. 
I think it was chaos, the the bird and the butterfly effect or something. Uh, a huge old thing on uh, theoretical physics and stuff when I was in like eighth grade. I love that stuff. I I didn't ever want to really be a scientist. I just love science. I thought it would be too hard. It probably probably wouldn't. I always thought programming would be too hard, and now I'm a programmer, so yeah. Mr. Torres, thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Yikes! Put your trash in me! Trevor, what an asshole. Yikes! After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben. I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Ah, yes. Windows 6. My favorite. Oh, no! <laughs> Love that cat. I got, that's actually fairly similar to a default Windows thinger. Get the sunglasses. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Hmm. Bumblebee. No, tell me about the cat. Everything's depressing. Tell me about the cat. Please. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. Famous. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Huh. Famous. You know, I, I really don't think, you know, TV dinner things are that bad. I mean, <coughs> are they fancy cuisine? But you can, no, but you get a decent meal for pretty cheap. And they're, they're really not that bad. I mean, it depends on what you get. I'll eat some, like, lean cuisine stuff. Oh, full reflections. So, oh, never mind, not exactly full, but close enough. Open drawer. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Yikes! Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Yeah, as a kid, I once got stitches, and, um... I was a real fussy kid. I don't know if you, if you can tell that, but, um... They, um, what were they doing? They, um, they kind of put some, like, stuff on a Q-tip to kind of locally numb, and they were distracting. You know, they did a really good job with this, and they, they got a little needle in there, and they're like, I, I didn't want to, you know, the, uh, the stronger anesthetic, and I was, like, whining. I was like, I didn't want, you know, I don't want the needles and blah, blah, blah. And but by the time I realized they had already stitched it up, I still have that scar. It's a pretty big one. I've got a, one of those eyebrow scars like uh, Ellie in The Last of Us. It kind of, the hair just doesn't really grow back. So you kind of get Trevor a mark in there. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. I don't like this Trevor guy. What's on TV? Oh man, I kind of miss CRTs. I need to get a CRT. Wait, what's this? Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Oh shit. That's Trevor, I guess. Seeing? Sheesh. Ring binder. What's this? Ah uh, yes, the science project. Science. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. You know what's sad is I, I would totally not be surprised if people teachers really were jerks to kids for, you know, needing a food kitchen or whatever. And when, when I was in like first grade, this is <clears throat> nostalgia trip city. And I, I guess it's fitting because it's, you know, what the game is too. But, um,. 
I, I went to a Catholic school, if you can believe it, and, and uh, one of the teachers, I think she might have been the nun, too. We, we only had one nun. I, I, I don't have, you know, what you would expect from a religious school. The, there was not crazy nuns that beat you with rulers. Uh, there was only one nun still working as a teacher, and she did not use a ruler. But um, she was putting <laughs> on the spot. There was uh, a kid in the class who was, you know, a, a little, she wasn't stupid, but she wasn't the best at picking up. She wasn't the best at book smart stuff, and she was picking on. I was like, oh, if we wait for, you know, an answer from her, we'll be here all day. And I just burst out. Uh, That's not very Christian of you. And it 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 was not. And I got in trouble, and she got in trouble, and my parents, um, the, the cool thing was my, my parents did not give, they had absolutely no respect for that school's bullshit. Um, so like, wait, uh, you're punishing our son for showing your asshole teacher that she's an asshole? Like, they were slightly more diplomatic than that, but they didn't really need to be. But, um... <laughs> The principals did not like us because we insisted on being right, and uh, schools don't like that, especially not religious schools. But yeah. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. I could have gone. I could have gone to German or to to German, uh, to Germany. But that was like a fourth year thing, and I didn't have a fourth year in high school. So I ended up not going. Graduated early. I probably wouldn't. I would recommend, personally, um, <coughs> cram as many AP courses into high school as you can. Because they're easier in high school than they are in college. And it can save you some money. It can save you a semester or two, uh, depending on how much you can cram in. And it'll, it can genuinely save you some money, save you some effort. Um, let you get out of some of the more boring classes in college and get straight to the stuff that you know only college has that your high school doesn't have. I really recommend that um, if you have any kind of option for that. I'm sorry, I'm going completely off the rails with this, but uh, it, it's. I, I think it's good. I think it's kind of the point of this game to kind of give you some nostalgia, like. It's kind of nostalgia for a person that isn't you, but it kind of gives you some of your own, too. And I really like that in games. I like these games. I don't know how entertaining they are to watch, necessarily, because, I mean, I'm not really a good judge of when I'm being entertaining, as odd as that might seem, but yeah, especially in a context like this. An orange so juicy, the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Have you ever had glasses and peeled an orange and then, like, the gross, like, top bit of the orange just kind of sprays on your glasses and it's a real pain to get off? It's a much less romantic thought, but <laughs> that's that's what that reminds me of. Hi, Parker. Do you want to say hi? Oh, you're whispering. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, you suck. All right, I can't see, honey. I can't see a damn thing. Um, honeybee. Honeybee, please. Please. Please, I can't see, honey. There we go. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Whoa! Yeah. Those I was shoes. losing Holy my shit. glamour status at school right there. What? Is that humanly possible? That's that's gonna cause some like damage. Wow. He had money. You see? He bought me things. Oh, I, see. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time I didn't know where the money came from. If you gave me a gift that like looks like a torture device, I would hit you with them. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and a new deal. I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. Oh my gosh, this metaphor. I chose to be angry instead. <laughs> but Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. It's a loaded deck, I'm guessing. The band a new deal. Kind of like this chunkular style to it. 
I've got a thing. How do I... I this, this journal update makes me feel like I'm playing Uncharted. Especially when I thought of this thing with, like, it looked like puzzles. How do I journal? J. Whew, I was so scared. I, with these, with these, with these... Oh, I like that! Look at that! That is cool! That, that is a kick-ass shader. When you close the thing, it opens... Oh, that's so cool! Like, I'm sure, you know, it's a, just a shader in Unreal Engine 4, but that is a really cute touch. Um, with these little indie games that don't have save features and stuff, I'm always terrified to press escape, because sometimes the game just closes. Never do that, by the way. Never make your game instantly close at a cl click of a button. Escape should bring you to the menu. That is how PC games work. Like, it should not just be a close button. That's not so. I'm talking on the phone. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Wait, so is Mr. Torres not her dad, or...? A little bit confused. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Arsh. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the ah, floor. Ah, that'd do it. Mary Curie is in, like, radiation research. What's this? I see the thing. Let me get it. Oh, there we go. There we go. La La, La Land. La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. <clears throat> Glad Trevor snuck us in. Oh, so I don't think I could have handled code. wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. This game is weirding me out because it's like set... Like, childhood was in 2018. But we've got like... <coughs> you know... CRT from, you know... 1998. Well, I mean, not everybody upgraded, obviously. But I would be very surprised to still see one of these puppers. One of these doggos. That's Fourth Marie's March birthday. Pizza. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. <sighs> Look at the vibrating pizzas. Uh, bike basket. <laughs> why is her bike, like, disassembled? Like, why is the basket... Did I check this? She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. <laughs> Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? What's up, Tesla? If you have a wormhole, then you can turn them into a time machine for going backwards in time. <laughs> little magnet poster. I never had, like, science posters. Whiteboard. Hmm. Alright. How do I... How, what, what, what is this journal situation? How do I open this journal? It doesn't seem to... Oh, wait. Wait, what? Uh, where's the control? Oh. There's no controls list, so that's good. Um, what do you mean, journal updated? Wait, when did this music come from? Was there... Wait, mouse mode inverted. Mouse mode mode. I think, I think a button did music. What was there music for just a second? No idea what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mouse, I all I can do is invert the mouse. Why was there music? Bring, bring the music back. Bring back the jam and tunes. God, I can't open. I can't open the thing. Let me open the thing on Ichio. Maybe it tells me the controls. More info. <coughs> I don't. I have no idea how how to open. How to open the thing. I 
Oh my god, guys. So, what's wrong with Fortnite fans? I'm so sorry to be, like, to hate on things, but, like, I opened the, 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 the comments to this game. This, you know, little brief see people's histories and, you know, emotional game. And the comment is, screw you, Fortnite's not dying, maybe dying a little, but it's alive. What? This is not Fortnite. What, how did you get here? What, what are you talking about? What, what, get out of here. And then, of course, there's a, re a requisite. Is this a gay game? Oh, no. My feelings will be hurt if somebody's different than me, bro. Ugh. Why, why are humans terrible? I mean, why? Why does it have to be like this? Swear jar? <laughs> Smoking jar. The world someday jar? Oh, wait, these aren't swear jars. I guess it's the smoking jar as an analog. She but. hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. So I still, I'm, I'm still baffled by this journal situation. I'm, I'm pressing, wait, what did I just do? I'm pressing all of the things. Is there like a physical journal in the game space? Am I supposed to, oh! Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, there is in fact, okay. Oh my god, it is just like Nate's journal. Holy crap, I was right. All is now harmed. Gonna be friends, nothing was different. Arg, 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 arg. Relatable. I screwed up, but I was worried. Why do you keep writing this shit? I can't. I can't read all of this. The guy jumped in and stabbed my dad, so they snapped at me, and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think he could have killed them. The one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither my dad, so I never caught him. Ugh. I'll screw you up. Some asshole burned down my garage uh, a few years ago, and I I'm not making this up. Uh, there was a guy who was wanted for murdering his girlfriend, and they arrested him, and uh, we're pretty sure it was him because he was known to be a bit of a firebug. It wasn't probably targeted me or anything. Uh, I just happened to have some uh, recycling out, and it was bulky waste, and he lit up a carpet somewhere else. The firefighters were actually responding to that when they found it, but uh, this was at 4 a.m. by the way, so I'm woken up by a loud bang, which uh, in retrospect was probably the uh, gas tank in my car exploding, um, and my my bedroom faces, uh, it's got a bay window, and it faces the garage on one side, and I'm waking up half asleep. All I just see is orange and flickering. I'm thinking, I'm just having a nightmare, and I try to wake up, and I don't wake up, and it takes me a couple minutes to realize, oh my god, I'm awake, and I'm gonna die, um, and fortunately the wind wasn't blowing, my garage, it was, the flames were 20 feet high, it was genuinely the scariest thing I've ever seen, and I did genuinely think I was gonna die, it's not fun stuff, but, uh, <laughs> the wind wasn't really blowing, too much towards the house, so, but it could have been bad. Yeah, car in the garage were a total loss, but, uh, that's why you get insurance, kids. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Anyway, I guess I should have flipped through some of these so you could read some of these. Um, look at, look at, those look a little bit less painful than the ones in-game, but. Oh, those sparkly shoes, she wears them all the time. Last night the heels dug in my calf. They freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I don't know why. I wish I was a size 9, because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, they look like a little girl trying on my shoes. Probably got to see La La Land. Went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there, too. I was so happy to see her. I actually freaking hugged her. She pushed me away. I asked me what I was doing. Trevor asshole was enjoying the show. Stupid 
cheerleader friends. Whichever is a girl? Or is that Kelsey's cheerleader friends? I was gonna say, Trevor doesn't seem like a very girly name to me, but who knows. Well, it doesn't matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right. <coughs> what matters also life. Life is something we need to take care of. She likes to go out on a limb. She's just not gonna... <laughs> Here I am reading all this stuff and just saying I'm not gonna read it. It's not that long. Bam. She didn't even realize what she was saying. I am too sensitive. Guess that'll show me. To believe we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck by, by the way. Let's see if I care. What? I don't... I don't really... <laughs> I don't really get what's going on there. We're gonna be friends. Friends. Oh, there's the swear jar. You may have noticed, sweet journal, there are less F words in these pages. I'm so friggin' proud, huh? Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey blew that rock through my window. Holy crap! Rude! <coughs> Did you know <coughs> when I was a little girl, I used to swear, swear abundantly? I'm trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence. I guess, I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but, but he said my mom hated it. So every time he used the F word, he maybe put a piece of candy in the swear jar. I can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I never see it again. I can see it late it. He must have rejoiced. I have a vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman, mad woman. Wait, 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 you're science doctor person, man, friend, woman, and rejoiced is expanding your vocabulary? I'm... I'm confused. Kelsey's so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kind of annoying. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs, the cards. Wait, she did all, all drugs? Wait, 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 what? Is, is, is that jokes, or is that... traumatizing? Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. She can do so much better than that total loser! Three exclamation points. He assaulted in the school hallway! Of course no one saw it happen. He literally tore the clothes from her body. Fuck. I almost have to swear, but there you go. So I'm done with him now. He's gonna only get better. This is my journal, not hers, by the way, I think. Yeah, it's definitely mine. Never mind. I think he's crazy. He creeps at me, looking at the, at the most impossible hours, just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, do this or that. That's if I tied her up in here. Now I unplug the phone when I go to sleep. And that's why I don't like relationships. Because people are goddamn insane. <laughs> These are good times to make me forget. All my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? It took me forever to convince. I like this happy ending bit here, but it seemed like the ultimate ending was not happy. Kelsey took me swimming in Mr. Jones' pool. I'm scared shitless the first time, but ah. Uh, two beers and freshly pickled oranges. This, 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 this tape. I want this tape. Where do you get fancy tape? I didn't know you could get fancy tape. For, for, for years, I've been given normal boring tape. I actually don't remember the last time I needed, like, scotch tape for something, but... Coming for everybody to convince Kelsey to ride a bike. Cause it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now. We used to ride through Mr. Jones' own orange grove. In broad daylight, we got a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I didn't even think about getting caught. another home invasion just two blocks from here they killed the one this time the police think it's trevor I suppose it was him in our house i can't wrap our head around it it's too big but kelsey says it isn't true so trevor's a bastard but he never commits its violent acts look at that torn t-shirt i think she might be in denial there i did i hope i'm not gonna regret this i'm not sure the context of that one uh that's getting heavy and personal here again, but you, you, you never want to, when, when you know somebody, they're like, yeah, th they're a person, they can't do bad things. Uh, it's a friend of mine, fortunately not a very close friend. He, uh, he was always kind of a jerk ass. He was always kind of, you know, he's one of those people that wanted to be cool, wanted to be, wanted people to think they were cool. They, he, he lived his life all about how many people like me, how many people, like, impressed with what I do. And, um, he was drunk, he was driving with, uh, with a friend, he crashed to a car, killed him. This was just before his uh, high school, or was it college? 
one of the graduations, a college graduation, I think. Um, and everyone was like, oh, he's a hero. He's so brave. He fucking killed that other kid. He killed another human being. He was drunk. He was driving, like, 50 mile an hour in, in, in a road that's like, this is a road that, uh, the, I hate using this road. It's, uh, you have no line of sight for anything. It's it's a really dangerous place, and there's cars that can just drive it. He hit a tree. Uh, he doesn't even have an excuse, but, um... Killed the person. S straight up killed them with his own negligence. Um, everybody treated him like he was a hero. He was, you know, like a grieving veteran. Like, and nothing was his fault. Everything, you know, everything's great. And, you know, oh, what a tragedy. And, like, somebody's kid's dead. Somebody's, you know, best friend is dead. And they're like, oh, well, let's give the murderer a great graduation party. I didn't go, obviously. I, I would have fucking punched him in the face. This isn't even the worst part of the story. You know, that's... After this, he didn't get charged or anything. A uh, couple years down the road, I'm sorry, this is horribly depressing, but um, this game kind of goes in some places too. And so this was, uh, I think this is the bridge I take to work, but he he was drunk again. Um, had another passenger in the car. Um, it was at night. He rammed into another car. Killed his passenger. Killed the person in the other car. The cops find him. He's just smoking a fucking cigarette. Just sitting in his goddamn car. Just three people. He's killed three people. He's in jail now, but I don't remember what his maximum sentence is. I'm sure he's not going to fill it. I I hope I never see the fucker again because I, I couldn't stand it. Uh, but, but the people around you... Uh, Life isn't some, like, happy novel or something that the, the, the guy that you've known your whole life, just because they're nice to you doesn't mean they're a good person. Um, and it sucks to think like that, but some people are just fucking shit, and some people will get people killed just to have a tiny bit of fun. And... For fuck's sake, don't drive drunk. There's absolutely no situation which that's ever even remotely okay. And I'm I'm honestly more pissed than anything that... If you think we live in a fair universe, we don't. Because he killed three people and he barely got like a goddamn scratch out of all this. It should have been him. I'm, I'm sorry to bring this up. This is really depressing and... But... It's, this is a very real game, and I just thought I should bring that up. Um, I hate, hate to leave on a sour note, but I feel like this game is going to take a bit longer than I thought it would, so I think I'm going to split here, and I, I kind of need to chill out a sec, so we'll be back, and we'll, uh, we'll explore what's going on here even more.